Maybe if you get a real job, we can eat somewhere that you don't have to pay at the counter. Well, after my invention takes off, you can eat wherever you want. You know what? How about I eat wherever I want now? Goodbye forever. Kyle, are we going out? Oh, hi, Amber. How are you? Ah, oh, Mrs. Palmer. Have you seen Kyle around? He's in the garage, as usual, working on his project. Okay, thanks. See you later. Cross the capacitor with collision avoidance. Let's try that. Ugh, are you still working on that thing? Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it until it's right. Don't you think two years is long enough to finish this up? Do you know how long these big companies have been trying to figure out drone delivery? They haven't perfected a guidance system. Who needs that when there's DoorDash? How many of those drivers are they gonna be using when these take over? Last time I checked, your name's not on that flying thing. How are you supposed to make money? It's not the drone, it's the guidance system. Once I nail that, the money will start rolling in and the sky's the limit. When are you gonna give all this up and get a real job? So you can take me to nice restaurants, concerts, buy me clothes like real boyfriends are supposed to do. Custom semiconductor, that's it. Yeah, all that stuff, I'll do all that and more as soon as I've got my invention down. Oh, you mean you'll actually move out of your parents' basement? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get a whole modern house all chrome and glass backing up into a beautiful forest. Okay, you are a dreamer. Kyle's big ideas might change the world, but Amber thinks he should stop dreaming and start working. All he does is tinker with that invention in his parents' garage like it's a hobby. Well, at least it makes him happy. All I can think about are those guys from high school who were obsessed with me. Now they have really good jobs. I could be going on vacations, driving a really nice car. But no, I'm stuck with a broke guy. Those are just things. What really matters is the whole person, who they are on the inside. That sounds like a fairy tale. We're not kids anymore. The world doesn't work that way. It's all about money. Well, you know, if you follow your passion and strive to be the best, the money will surely come. <laughs> yeah, well, not fast enough. He needs to get a real job and one that pays well, or I'm out. Sounds like he has potential. Just give it a little more time. <sighs> yeah, right. It's so nice of you to take me to the mall shopping. Oh, babe, we're not shopping. What? No, babe, I brought you here for dinner. Dinner? I would love some lobster. I'm so sick of pizza. I don't know if they have lobster at the food court. Maybe in the burritos. Food court? Jeez, I feel like the luckiest girlfriend on earth. At least give me one of those cinnamon rolls after we... Who is that? That's that dude from high school. He was on the football team. He must be doing well. He's shopping for nice clothes, unlike us. I don't think so. Look at him. He works there. <laughs> at least he has a job. At the mall. Here you go. Definitely an upgrade from our usual pizza. Burgers and chips are an upgrade from pizza? Yeah, but if you prefer Italian food, we could do pizza next time. Burgers and pizza? Haven't you heard of anything like steak or sushi? Yeah, I have heard of those if all you want to do is blow money. What you call blowing money, I call enjoying life. Maybe if you get a real job, we can eat somewhere that you don't have to pay at the counter. Well, after my invention takes off, you can eat wherever you want. You know what? How about I eat wherever I want now? Goodbye forever. What? <sighs> Owen? Amber, is that you? <laughs> yeah. 
I, I haven't seen you since high school. <laughs> That's true. I miss you so much. Miss me? You, you didn't miss me when I asked you to prom, or all those other times. <laughs> you know high school girls, making decisions for all the wrong reasons. Well, it's so good to see you here. Successful, dressed nicely. Well, it's one of the perks of managing a men's store. <laughs> you know, we should really catch up on old times. Old times? I didn't know we had any old times, but whatever happened to that one guy that you were going out with in high school? Uh, Kyle? Him? Oh, he's just a dead end. Guys like that will never amount to anything. Unlike you. You know what? We should catch up. Are you available for dinner anytime this week? Dinner? Perfect. How's tomorrow night sound? Oh, it was a tomorrow night I work. Um, how about this weekend? <laughs> Great. Let's do Saturday night. Ah, can't do Saturday night. Been working a lot of overtime hours trying to buy a condo. Well, when can you go out? I'm not going to be available forever. Well, how about Sunday night? Store closes early. Perfect. How does 7 o'clock at Totally Sushi sound? It's a date. See you then. Toodaloo. Amber runs into Owen, whose success has caught her attention, and she seizes an opportunity to upgrade her lifestyle. It's so great to see you. I can't remember the last time I was at a nice restaurant like this. No, I've never been here before, but I've heard that it's pretty nice. You know, we really should have dated in high school. You know what? You're right. Let's toast. Here's to lost time. <laughs> oh, I got you something. Hmm. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's so me. Where did you get this? Oh, we get samples at the store. I figured you were small. Extra small, actually, but I'll make it work. Oh, well, I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> I know you won't. I mean, after all, every girl loves gifts. He's assistant manager now, but they're fast tracking him to be manager of the whole store. Well, that's great. But what's his personality like? Personality? Um, I don't know. But he got me a dress. Well, actually, it was a sample, so that's a great sign. <laughs> well, you'll have to tell me more when you get to know him better. <laughs> What's there to know? He's successful, he's moving up, and he takes care of me. What about Kyle? He's got big ideas, and some things are more important than money. You're starting to sound just like him. I need a guy with a regular paycheck. Well, I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> there you are. <sighs> Sorry I was late. Here, I ordered this for you. Did you have car trouble? Yeah, the car is fine, but I had to give it back to the dealership. Oh, that's too bad. Why is that? The company's having a restructuring. They cut all the overtime and I can't afford it anymore. Oh, you're not gonna lose your job, are you? No, I'm not gonna lose my job, just my benefits. Thank goodness I didn't buy that condo. Really? So what are you gonna Wait, do? Wait, is that that Kyle guy from high school? In other news, local inventors technology has taken off. Baycrest resident Kyle Palmer has licensed his breakthrough drone navigation technology to General Aviation for $800 million. It is said that it will power drone direct deliveries around the world. Young Mr. Palmer could not be reached for comment. It is said that he's vacationing on his new yacht in the Mediterranean. I can't believe he was right. Kyle's tech project has finally taken flight, and now Amber realizes she made the wrong choice. About dinner, I'm a little tight this week. Could we split? The only thing I'm splitting is out of here. Kyle! Where are you, baby? It's Amber, your sweetie. <laughs> Honey, where are you? Amber, in the kitchen. Oh, there you are. Where's Kyle? He's not here. 
When's he coming back? I really miss him. Um, he doesn't live here anymore. He moved out after you broke up. He what? I thought he couldn't afford his own place. Oh, he can now. You won't believe who bought his invention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the news. That's why I'm here. I, I mean, that's why I really want to see him. He bought that new house at the end of Forestdale Lane. Do you want the address? No, I know where it is. Kyle! Kyle! It's Amber. Are you there? Amber? The gate's open. <laughs> Amber, long time no see. I know. Wow, we finally have the place of our dreams. Uh, Amber, we broke up. Oh, don't take that silly little argument too seriously. We've been together far too long for that. That's nice and all, but sometimes you don't realize how mismatched two people are until it's over. I want you to meet my fiance. Someone who loves me for who I am, not just for money. Hey, Amber. Chloe, what are you doing with him? I caught him first. But you threw him back, and I'm not gonna let a good catch like him get away. You know what? I'm happy for you too. Do you have any rich friends? Amber got tired of waiting for Kyle's dreams to come true and was ready to cash in now. Don't measure people based on their bank account. Judge them on their character. If you liked this video, leave us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to see all the new ones. Bye. Rah, rah, re, kick him in the knee. Rah, rah, raz, kick him in the other knee. That was such a great game. It's just not the same without Ashley around. I know. We really need a new captain.